Hello there, Michael here. Today we're going to check out how we can install some useful tools and linters to your development environment when you are to work with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's see here. So here we have the uh, repository where all my example files are. So it's here. So you may, you may actually, before you start working, you may actually clone it. And so you can have it downloaded on your own environment just to check that it works. And then you can compare to your own environment that it works the same thing. Could be good to learn from a basic example just to start with. So if you clone this and the next step would be to install all the tools from the file that is called package.json. And it looks a bit like this. And I'm just going to show you sort of quickly how it's done. So this script here, this package.json contains a lot of script that was, will help us work with a project like this. So I can just run npm run lint, where I run a set of linters and they are verifying that the code I have here actually works. So this repository also contains code in the uh, public directory and it contains other code in the source directory and it's a bit different on how I choose to work. So you know that you have an actual working example, but now let's see how we can work through this and set up our own sort of environment. So let's go through uh, this article, just work it through. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to let me go and create an empty directory so I can start with. So completely empty and this is also the way you should start. Completely empty directory or even better, completely empty git repository. Hmm. Okay, so the first thing is that we are going to set up this as a, I can do it like that. So we're going to set it up like an NPM project and we're going to install a lot of tools. You see we install all these tools here. So these are all part of the development environment like that. NPM run. Okay, nothing there yet. Okay, good. And it also looks a bit like this. There are not too many files here. Let's minus L A also the hidden files. No, it's rather empty. So let's fix that. Fix that. Because a lot of these tools they need their configuration files. And I'm gonna get the configuration files that I have in this repository. So these are my example files that you can use. And if we ls minus l a, now we see that we got a bunch of configuration files here that will be helpful for our tools. Great. Uh, but still, we need to install and set up the scripts part. So here we have all the scripts. And to do that, I need to start my well text editor visual studio code okay it runs up here in the other screen so let's see how it looks like if we go over here so this is how it looks like for now and the script part is here in the package.json and here we can see all the development dependencies that we have installed now we can also see them with their actual version included and let's see if we can copy all the scripts there. So I'm going to copy them and I'm going to replace the test part there like that and save it. And now we can actually we can open up a terminal here, I guess, and we can npm run to view all the scripts. And yes, now I'm ready to run them. Excellent. Uh, I think that is all we have there for now so 
So I have an empty directory here uh, in my in my own created. But let's just see that the uh, that the tools seems to work. So I'm going to run HTML hint first. So that is a tool to verify that the HTML documents are correct. And since this is an empty directory, yes, they are correct. And then I'm going to run the uh, style lint part that is up here. So that is that will verify that all style lint, I think it was. Yes, that will verify that all the CSS code, style sheet code is correct. And then we have the linter for the JavaScript part. And we can run it like this. npm run eslint and yes. It also seemed to work. Excellent. And now you don't now, so we don't have any errors here, but uh, eventually we'll get them. And don't forget that there are two fixers, both style lint fix and ES lint fix, and they are sort of defined there and there. And they will actually try to fix all the errors that the linters find. Quite useful, you will see. So don't forget them. Uh, let's just see what's more in this uh, article here. So we have npm run lint. So that is sort of a combination. We have them here and we can see that we run both HTML hint and style lint and ES lint. So that is sort of a npm run lint. It's just a utility to run all, well, at least those three linters at the same time. And we can actually also just run npm test, so the, the short version, and that will run npm lint, which will run HTML lint, style lint, and ES lint. So that is how the test part in the package.json is set up. So, okay, yeah, uh, there are a few sort of housekeeping scripts. It is uh, clean that is set up like that. So the intention with clean is just to clean up if you have a directory where you generate build files or temporary files that you don't want to uh, have in the repository. So that is clean. And then we have a clean all that actually removes everything. It even installed files like this, the node module files. It removes the package dot package file, so uh, uh, it it cleans up the directory, and then you can start fresh with an npm install. So you can you can create your own scripts here if you like. Um, yes, yes. Let's take the let's take the last one also. So we have a web server here. And we started with run HTTP server and it's the script that is up there. So let's see if we can do that. HTTP server. Okay, so it starts up. Okay, opening browser. Oh, nice. Here it is. Okay, so here we get the HTTP server on, well, here. Everything, everything in the, in everything in this current directory that is nice. I'm going to stop it down because it is actually sort of now it's serving from there. But the intention is that it should be serving the files from the public directory. Well, you can have it running like this also, of course. But the actual intention was to sort of work in a uh, this public directory. And if I create sort of an empty file, ls public like that, hello HTML, cut public, uh, hello HTML. Okay, so there we have now a, a small web, web file. So if I run HTTP server now, and now we see that it starts serving from the public folder instead. And let's see if I can. Yes, I needed to reload the page. You know, Control R, reload. And sometimes it caches things. So then I need to do Control Shift, reload. That is a hard reload on it. 
So here we see. So now we are serving from the public directory, which is one place where we can usually work with our web pages. And we can see that, yes, it says hello. Excellent. So it seems to work. I think we are pretty done there. Uh, or we have only seen a few tools in this development environment for now. So we can read more about all the tools and how they are individually set up. But this is fine for now, because the most important part is that we have this npm run lint, or like I, oops, hoo -hoo. yes, I have an error now, so now I should fix that, but no, let's not go there. Uh, I leave that to you, try to fix that. So we have the linters, we have the web server. I, I say that we are ready to start working. So uh, fine for now. Okay. See you another day. Bye for now. Bye bye.